Hello everybody and welcome to this JavaScript tutorial. My name is George and what we're going to do today is that we're going to practice uh, with the if statement. So it is a very simple instruction that we are going to learn. And uh, what I have over here is an index.html file and I have uh, here my script tag uh, saying that uh, we're going to use JavaScript. So uh, what we're going to do for this uh, tutorial, just go ahead and the first thing that we're going to do is just write f then open parenthesis and this is the basic structure of the of the if statement so inside this parenthesis we're going to put a logical operation that can have uh, two results true or false so whatever you say over here for example 4 is less than 5 you will have a result a logical result and this for example is obviously true and if you put for example 6 is less than 5 this will be false so the results will be true or false that's basically what the if statement is going to test and depending on the result we are going to execute some, some code so go ahead and write this if 5 is greater than 4 then open brackets and between these brackets uh, we're going to write the code that is going to be executed if this uh, operation is is true so just go ahead and write alert and say the logical operation is true and then go ahead and save this and I'm going to reload my browser over here I already have the file um, set up so what this dialog says is that the logical operation is true so that means that this code this line of code over here is being executed because this operation uh, has a, a true a, a positive result so if we change this for example 3 is greater than 4 this is obviously false so if we save this and reload again what we're gonna get is nothing and that is because this line of code is not being executed because this condition is false and what we can, what could we do is that if that happens so when we have false uh, results uh, in these uh, evaluations we, are, we have like an alternate uh, possibility that is to use the else statement and what basically that does is the same as if but uh, the code that is going to be over here is uh, will be executed only if this condition is false so basically uh, what we're doing is uh, saying to our program if whatever is on here it uh, has a, a positive result and it is true we, we will execute this code over here and if not we're going to execute some code that is going to be contained in the else um, statement so go ahead and write this alert and then put over here the logical operation is false save and reload and what we get is uh, this message over here the logical operation is false and if we change it back again to 6 is greater than 4 and save it reload and the message we're getting is the operation is true so basically that's what the if instruction does and you can use it with variables for example I'm going to write a, a very simple program and just write over here um, variable x uh, equals 10 and then variable y equals number and let's use the prompt function to receive something from the user and just write here enter a number and over here what we're going to do is just uh, say if um, x is greater than y we're going to print out the message the variable x is for example 10 is the value that we have over here and then write and it is greater than and go ahead and write y 
So that would be the first message and in the else instruction we are going to write this Barrel x is 10 and it is less than y So let's just leave it like that Go ahead and save this program and let's reload the file So first we are asked to enter a number So I am going to go ahead and write for example 15 and say ok and then you will say the variable x is 10 and it is less than 15 so we see that the program is working let's go ahead and write 9 and it says the variable x is 10 and it is greater than 10 that, than 9 than, than 9 I don't know what I said that so okay let's just leave it like that but what happens if we write a uh, 10 in the program an equal value that isn't evaluated in this uh, if statement so let's go ahead and see what happens if we write 10 let's just press ok and the, it will say the variable x is 10 and it is less than 10 and this is wrong this is not right so we, we need to correct this and what we're going to do over here is that we're going to see that many Logical operations can, can be put uh, can be expressed like this. For example, x is uh, greater or equal than 10. Then no, x is greater or equal than y, and we can say here or equal than y. And this is another way of testing these um, uh, conditions, these logical operations. You can save this, reload again, and if you write 10. Uh, it will say greater or equal than 10 uh, but you can also say for example you can also evaluate what happens if uh, those variables are the same you can use these uh, characters over here equals equals and it will say what happens if x is equal to y or what happens if x is different than y and we can say here and it is different and here we can say it is the same let's go ahead and save and test this out and what it happens is that if you write any number that isn't 10 you will get this result it is different than 10 uh, than 11 for example and if, if, if you write 10 you will get that it is the same so the variables are are the same so these are ways of of testing these logical operations some logical operations are for example this is different than x is different than y and also this is equals less than greater than also uh, less or equal or greater or equal than uh, this other variable so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I'm going to leave it uh, on my website so you can check out this code and we'll see you later in another tutorial. So thanks, bye bye.